A fringe benefit of my talents is a heightened sensitivity to the natural world, particularly when the unnatural puts the boot in. When the trouble started, some of the staff made a break for the river, trained magi who could take care of themselves. But something was waiting for them, nothing natural. It's still out there. Carter and I have had the same dream, and it's a doozy. The harvest at Henderson's farm, swollen and churning with lava and disease. Like those dead, traumatizing time lapse documentaries. Ah, Archibald Henderson's murderous legacy. It is another weft in the fascinatingly grim weave of Solomon Island history. There is a lot of seriously bad shite emitted from my copy of the school prospectus. A fringe benefit of my talents is a heightened sensitivity. Initially, during his life, he was a magus, but at heart a simple farmer, likely barely able to comprehend, let alone control, his messy undoing. I come from an agricultural family. Yeah, my parents grow sunflowers. I sense this situation is socially awkward. Ah, no, not more than usual, to be fair. I took this position to trade an overcrowded island for a quiet one, for a peaceful life, before life went and said bollocks to that. There was something pure ironic about the move, too. You know, my kind weren't popular in these parts 300 years ago. Witches, not Scotswomen. It's occult suffrage in action. And yet, that tension never really goes away, does it? It's always out there, always ticking down to totally batshit nuclear. I'm an idealist. I think we're supposed to be the way we are, to protect people. To protect them from all this. So, they're right to fear us. We stick our fingers where they don't belong, then wiggle them around a bit anyway. Palm responsibility off and the need to know the unknowable. That's not learning. That's, uh, I don't know, playing chicken with the infinite. These parts have gotten pretty lively since everyone died. Not quite a rescue, more of an investigation, eh? You and all the others. Personally, I think the whole Team Colours thing is pure pish. So I hope we won't have to start fighting like we were in a scene from the bloody Matrix. My family are Templars, proper old Templars. The House of Usher, eh? That's hilarious. They didn't disown me when I said I wanted nothing to do with anyone's army. Posturing and scheming. My cabal is bigger than your cabal. That's worked out right well for us so far, hasn't it? I didn't come here for the Illuminati. I came here for the kids. And that's why I'm staying. For the ones who come back. For the ones who won't. For Carter, who's brushing up to be one of the most powerful mages on the Atlantic seaboard, but just wants to be a girl. One out of two is fraught enough. Despite his eccentricities and cynical, ah, uh, he'll appreciate the honesty. Downright unpleasant personality. Mr. Montag, H.J., does more for the safety and development of his students than he lets on. It's not an easy thing bringing these kids into a world fraught with occult rites and secret handshakes. It takes a real bastard even on the best of days. The competition for the most talented students, the petty jealousies and the ancient blood feuds between the most prominent institutions, and the more and less covert attempts at industrial espionage all take their toll. And of course, the deaths. Being responsible for every single life lost in the pursuit of knowledge would break less than an arrogant man. At least he lets us deal with the parents now. After those first couple of accidental self-immolations, 
Some thought it best we kept him away from grieving relatives. I give them a lot of jip, but the Templars were ahead of the curve in pushing for a proper magical education. Oxford, Uttar Pradesh, Cairo, etc. Of course, their reasoning was a bag of shite. It's got bugger all to do with entitlement and everything about sorting out your place in the world. For what it's worth, I'm truly sorry you've been dropped in at the deep end. I couldn't tell you what happens next, for the world and your place in it. Here, they'll mop up the blood, file the act of God insurance claims, rote learn their alibis, they'll cover it up. They always do. Flick through the Guinness Book of Disasters and you'll have a hard time finding something we didn't start. But this goes further than the island. You know how... Excuse me. Female roommates period synchronise? That's how it goes with my talents and the planet. And we've both been waking up like we've had the mankiest post-piss-up fish supper ever. Every day. Keep fighting the good fight, or whatever you believe you're doing.
What news from the colonies? 